do 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 Black Sands. First black light of the year. Look at that. There's a queen. Just chilling. Let me just grab her real quick. This is actually the second one I found. I started recording after I found the first one. Anyways, camping on Spencer Queen. And this is my black light. Just a black light hooked up to a sheet. So I'm attracting insects. Right now it's about 9.40. And it's pretty dark. Earlier the bats were out. Let's see if I can find it. They were... I see ant wings in parts just like dropping down. Here you go. Just ant bits just everywhere. And I realized the bats were out and they were just destroying a swarm of ants and they're just coming right down. It was raining ant parts. But now they've made it and they're starting to come down. And I got in two now. And queen number three. And number four is literally just chilling there, not running at all. <laughs> I don't think he even wants to find an upper chamber. Poor girl. Didn't even have time to put away number four, and he was number four and five. And number six just flew right in front of me. I actually might be packing up early because I'm getting so many. No way I really want to care for like a hundred of these things, so. I don't know, I might stop at like ten, maybe? We'll see. Woohoo, another two more, and I just had to let another one go away because I ran out of test tubes. Oh, I don't know if I grab more test tubes or if I just call it a night. We'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, I ended up catching eight camp announcements of Anagus. Queens, here's another one here, just chilling. Um, I'm not really interested in grabbing them anymore. Eight of the same queen, they aren't going to bring much interest to me, and I can only give away or sell so many. I'm really only interested in keeping a couple of them, so... Depending on how many found, I might release some or give some away, so, like I said. But I'm just going to stick out here with a couple more test tubes, and hopefully I can pick up, like, a Campanatus Chromioids Queen, or... Yeah, that's pretty much the only other thing that would be out here. So I just keep chilling. Found a honeybee. Not sure what she's doing out here at night. Hope she gets home safe. And if you want to know if black light setups are worth it, yeah, they just keep on giving. Girl, don't you know that I'm not trying to catch you anymore? You don't have to get caught on my black tripe anymore. This one hasn't even left the black light. And there's already another one. It's, what, it's like 10.17. This has been almost 40 minutes. I've seen probably like 20 queens. And there's probably going to be another 20 more, maybe even 30 in the next hour or so. But all I'm seeing is Campanosmus of Anicus. I have no interest in catching a billion of just one species of ant. It just doesn't interest me. So I think I'm going to actually tear down, even though flights are still happening. Which is a really, really great problem to have. So, I'm really glad I set up this black light. It's been paying dividends. Last year, I only had it for in August, and I caught one Somnopsis molesta queen. That's all I caught of it all night. But now that I'm actually in, you know, late May, when Campanas are flying, it is paying off. You see, there's two more right there as well. Yeah, they're just everywhere. I'm tearing down my black light and I found two more. They aren't even on the black light. They're just wandering around it. Oh boy. There's a drone. I spoke too soon, there's actually a third. One there. One there. And there was one around here, probably one underneath. Is this, I think that's the same one I just saw. Oh, that's a new one though. And two right there. Yeah, just on this whole thing, it's just ants. Look at that. One on the ground there. I see any down there. 
Okay, taking down my black light. And with that, I say... Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great night.